So here is a HLA or tappet or a hydraulic lifter as some of you may call it. It is from the Mazda 2.2 Skyactiv diesel engine. I'm gonna show you how to clean it and then bleed it and then fill it with engine oil. Always refer to your manual how to do it properly but this tutorial is going to be valid for, for many different cars or engines which has these hydraulic lifters in them. So basically you remove it from the engine and then first clean it now that it is clean you inspect for wear you shouldn't have any scratches on these surfaces or on the top as you can see this is the worn one and here is a good one so now what you need to do you need to remove the the contamination from the inside so mazda says you only should submerge it into engine oil i do and do it that way but i'm gonna do it in a diesel first so that i will get rid all of the contamination from inside and then i'm gonna fill it with engine oil so grab a round bar in my case i'm gonna use an allen key or or a hex key whichever you prefer to call it it has to be one millimeter big so it fits into the to the top hole and with this one you're gonna press it because now you can't press it at all but if, if you insert it and you held it together now you can press it as you can see i'm going to submerge it into diesel so that i can clean the contamination from out of it so let me show you and now i'm gonna press it and as you can see the, all the dirt comes out If you found this little tutorial helpful so far, please hit that like button that helps to spread this guide to people in similar need. Also, if you want to further support the channel, please feel free to give me super thanks or join my membership to make me possible to create more content like this. So do it until you have it 100% clean. You don't push that Allen key or Allen bit too much because that check ball on the bottom of the of the tappet is very very weak so you don't want to damage it okay so now it is clean from inside mazda workshop manual says that you shouldn't have any rebound in it so if you press it it shouldn't go down now i'm gonna remove the, the diesel from it And now I can press it because it's empty from inside and I'm going to fill it with engine oil because Mazda workshop manual says that you have to fill it with engine oil. For different applications you may use different methods I mean you may not have to fill it with engine oil you should always refer to your manual to your car's manual that, that you can be 100% sure that you carry out the procedure the proper way as it intended to be so now clean it again and we can fill it with engine oil so use the proper engine oil to your car I should be enough and as you can see 
it doesn't have any rebound and cannot press it so it is good it is still in good working condition also a good tip that you remove them in order so you remember where you remove them from and then then put back them into the exact same place as you remove them from because they have even though you don't see it they have slight wear on them and on the rocker arms as well so you want to put them back into the exact position where they were before if you found this little tutorial helpful so far please hit that like button that helps to spread this guide to people in similar need also if you want to further support the channel please feel free to give me super thanks or join my membership to make me possible to create more content like this thanks for watching see you in the next one bye this was it in this video hope you learned something important or useful for you thanks for watching and see you in the next one